Sorry, give me a second here. Hey, Google. Will you please turn on the office lights? Thank you. All right. So give me a second. But is already up in arms because I just finished eating dinner. So it's a good thing you decided to make it up to her. As soon as I sat down, she was right at my elbow. But mom, mom, you just ate a whole bunch of chicken. You ate a bunch of chicken thighs. And you didn't share any with me, Mom. She's super entitled. What? <laughs> oh, God. But you gotta watch them teepers. You gotta watch them teepers. You got teepers. You know that, right? I know it's not chicken. I know it's not chicken, but it's something, right? It's peanut butter. Can I get this puppy dog? Yeah, I gotta get his puppy right here. Can I get his puppy? Oh, get a puppy. Oh, oh, and I get a hug. I'm getting hugged. I'm getting hugged so hard. Yeah. Where's my baby? What is it, Mama's baby? Shut up, Mom. Shut up, Mom. I don't think she likes it when I pat her head. Not pet, pat. Pat, pat. She doesn't complain, but she also doesn't really seem to like it. You know. Also, I'm 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 wearing my my Shira and Rainbow Bright shirt. Classic versions of the characters. I have the same shirt in green. I'm going to put my, my SCP bus back on, as I can. I thought you guys can see it. it, it it's there. I get my braid out from under it. Like, there's no more. There's no more. There's no more. We got it at all. We got it at all. We did. Roar. I get you, puppy. Are you a good man? Are you a good girl? You are? Yeah? Give mama a high five? Oh, good girl. Give the other high five? Oh, good girl. Give mama a high Oh, wait, you can bunk your own nose there. Okay? Okay. I suppose I can be convinced to give you some more treats. You still gotta come over here to get them, though. And I'm just making up reasons to give her treats. You're going to starve to death. For your level of activity, you get plenty of food. All right. 
Yeah, a couple of things that I gotta do here. And then we will hop into the game. Don't mind me while I'm humming. I don't know. Da 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 dee 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 do 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 do. That humming, I don't think that's humming. I think that's making noises with your mouth. No, oh, not the network settings, sound settings. FNA Windows 11. That's back open. I did pop Final Fantasy VII open while I was um, on lunch today. But the only reason I did so was so that I could take care of upgrading everybody's weapons. Why are you all... No. Are you connected? Did you put Windows 11 on your work laptop, or did they upgrade it to Windows 11? It's like, usually corporations don't want uh, people to upgrade to the brand new operating system because it's possible that it won't be compatible with the software that they're using. Well, they made it happen. That's a bloody miracle. Um... The handle went out. Now I just have to get all the wax out of it. It's a super cute pumpkin jar candle. Put in the right spot here. I I do have two more. Um one is Pumpkin bourbon, I think. I don't know what. Yeah, I've got pumpkin bourbon and apparently pumpkin woods. I wanted the vanilla one, but they were all out of the vanilla one, and they had these three at the Target, so I ended up with these three. The other, the the one that I just finished was pear honey crisp. Yeah, bourbon. It smells good. I mean, these are super low quality candles, so they're probably, you know, made with things like paraffin and all that kind of stuff that you're not, not good quality candles. But it wasn't about the candles, it was about the jars. Also, I kind of wish I had a uh, candle warmer, because then I could get the rest of that wax to melt, albeit slowly. Instead of having to figure out a way to get it out of there. I knocked I knocked my star quartz. Actually it's a it be, I don't think that I can even get it to show the star at all. Um this is a rose quartz. Regardless of the fact that it looks like a clear quartz, this is a rose quartz. I can kind of prove that to you. This one is a clear quartz. Clear quartz. Fingers will cooperate. Rose quartz. Clear quartz. Um, I don't really want to. I don't know how good the glass is. I mean, it seems pretty thick. I don't feel a uh, an obvious. Oh, nope, never mind. I found the seam. There's a seam right there. Yep, and an identical one there. A 
Epcot is playing with her buffalo horn. It's actually not a buffalo horn, it's a water buffalo horn, which may seem like a silly uh, point to make, but it, it they're ethically sourced. Also, I think I only have two of them, and she's never finished one of them. I just realized I'm probably going to have to figure out a way to put a chapter skip in to all of my episodes so like it can skip the the intro song and then it can skip me talking without actually skipping but people don't have to sit here and listen listen to me ramble on for 10 15 20 30 whatever however many minutes i sit here and ramble Also, I, I opened a bag of chocolate chips, but they're not like, they're not Nestle chocolate chips. They're Ghirard Ghirardelli uh, milk chocolate chocolate chips, so don't mind me if I punch a little bit. Actually, while that's starting... Before I forget, I was listening to the stream from a few days ago, and I realized, well, a few days ago, a couple of weeks ago, it was the first episode of Final Fantasy, I realized that I think that the sound is a little low. That is not what I was looking for. <laughs> Filters. I'm not going to alter it drastically, just a little bit. So I brought it up from negative 14 to, or excuse me, from negative 15 to negative 14. I don't think I've ever actually boiled a candle holder. I used to use my coffee pot like i had a, a drip coffee pot um and i used the heating element on that and i would put my candles on that I actually have one candle that no longer has wicks because i was doing that and i was like i'm never going to use it i'm never going to light this thing and i pulled all three of the wicks out of it and so it it, it doesn't have any wicks Yeah, I don't have any way of doing post-production sound altering. So there's no way for me to boost the audio of the game for, like, characters talking a after the fact. And it was pretty quiet. I, I don't mind that I'm talking over the fighting. I do try to hold my tongue when uh, there's, there's a, a movie going. I haven't been the best about them. All right. So we made it up hey, to the 59th floor. Check it out. Come take a look, Cloud. But I want something. Damn fools. Hmm? Ones who come here at night to take in the view. So pretty and marvelous and beautiful. 
But every little light burning bright runs off her blood. And bit by bit they bleed her, never stopping to think how it'll end for them. <sighs> yeah. Terrible but beautiful all the same. So the the setting that I changed was in OBS. Nine X one. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! What is that? It looks like a monster head with fleshy heart eyes. That's super amusing. Um. So yeah, I I I'm talking about the OBS sound, not so much the because like. For the longest time, the game's too loud. The game's too loud. I can't hear you. The game's too loud. The game's too loud. So I kept turning down OBS, and I've never turned it back up. Ever. So it was sitting at negative 15. All this time. So I think I'm going to have to figure out... Uh, what settings are going to be best for the audio of other things. And then once I get that figured out, I can, uh, adjust the game audio and just the game audio so that maybe we have fewer problems with each game. You must be here for our grand tour. Visitors have access to floors 60, 61, 62, as well as floor 63. You will proceed in that order. By the exit of each floor, you will find a device that will allow you to update the key card in your possession, thereby allowing you to access the next floor. And now begins your grand tour. Please enjoy the Shinra experience. Why is this whole thing gotta be such a big pain in the ass? I don't know about you, but this is kind of weird. You think everything's going too well? Yeah, I do. Think this is a trap? Ha! <laughs> if it is, then bring it on. Let's get this party started. Robot makes sense, too. For the emote. I can see that. Gotta get all these damn key cards just to get anywhere. This is Shinra HQ. The how did you expect? Says the former company <laughs> man himself. Guess you'd know about all the rules, regulations, and red tape. It's like coming home, huh? I literally intentionally ran past where we're supposed to go. Okay. No one will ever figure out I'm not supposed to be here. Wu-Tai's pulling their strings, you'll see. Why did you sound like Wedge? A little bit. I don't want to take the elevator. I take the escalator. Yes, every reactor, every pillar. Like I said, a full inspection. There's no telling what kind of damage there might be. If you see anything, anything out of the ordinary, I want to know. <sighs> Sorry to bother you, sir. No, it's fine. I've brought the damage assessment for Sector 7 you requested. Sir, perhaps <laughs> you should try and get some sleep. No, not yet. I need to finish preparing my draft of the reconstruction plan before tonight's board meeting. <sighs> Whatever reasons they might have had, destroying an entire sector is... it's beyond the pale. Director, I would strongly advise you not to say such things outside of this room. <sighs> Don't I know it.
Good evening, Q. So, uh... Reeve is probably the only Shinra man in the entire company I 100% admire. The Turks? Reno and Rude? I kind of get them, I guess. But, you know. Welcome to the Shinra building, our humble home. Oh, hell no! Here in the Memorial Museum, you can learn all about our president, as well as the various divisions that make up the company. And of course, the city of Midgar and the miracle of Mako Energy. Whatever takes your fancy, you're sure to learn something new. Yeah, yeah, shut up! Reeves' redemption arc has already started. Insofar as the only thing, in my opinion, he ever did wrong is work for Shinra. Everything he's done outside of that, including his time in Shinra, has all been for the betterment of everyone. I think I just threw up a little. Man thinks very highly of himself. Yeah, you could say that. Can I steal this gun? I have... There is a gun-toting character in one of the next parts that I would like to give this gun to. One of my favorite characters in Final Fantasy, his name is Vincent. Uh, he specializes in long guns. Which is really funny, because I hate guns. I shouldn't say hate, I have hey, a strong everybody. dislike. The grand tour? I hope you're it all sucks. Yourselves. It grand Tour to sucks! And our esteemed president? And to get a peek at the president's mementos? That was super cool! Uh-huh. Reeve Twesty is basically in charge of HUD. Can I please leave? Now, moving along. The next exhibit will teach you about the important work we do here by giving you a closer look at each of our divisions. I hope you're ready to be amazed because you simply won't believe all the exciting adventures we have here. These oh, oh, amazing. redemptions from Q. I got you. A bunch of them already. I know, he, has, he hasn't done is currently undergoing maintenance. any redemptions that I can see. For the inconvenience. What do you mean Scarlet's thing is out of order? The advanced weaponry exhibit is currently undergoing maintenance. We apologize for the inconvenience. Uh-huh. What? What? Uh, read this? This paper right here? Uh, give me a moment. Welcome to the Shinra building. The Space and Aeronautics Division has taken rocket systems developed for military applications and adapted them to a different purpose. The search for new precious resources in the infinite reaches of space. That being said, since we have plenty of Mako at the present, those plans are currently on hold. It's a bit of a shame, really. And Palmer's kind of the laughing stock of the Shinra board. <sighs> uh, welcome to Shinra headquarters. 
My duties as Director of Research and Development are, in all likelihood, far beyond your ability to comprehend. So there will be no presentation, as it would be a waste of my time and yours. But rest assured, we are making great strides. Albeit not at this particular moment, because I'm filming this rubbish instead. I believe I've wasted enough of my precious time as it is. Science waits for no one, after all. So, good day. Oh, Joe's the man we're here to see. See you again. Urban planning. Welcome to the Shinra building. Our mission here at Urban Planning is to supply the residents of Midgar with energy created from Mako. We also take pride in maintaining public infrastructure, the pillars and railways that run all throughout the city. Currently, we are working to construct an intraplate expressway. When this project has been completed, it will provide much easier access to numerous locations all across Midgar. We appreciate your patience and understanding in the meantime. He's also, I think, the most professional to have read one of these things. Everybody else comes off sounding like they just got handed a sheet that they'd never read before and are expected to read it. The public security exhibit is currently undergoing maintenance. We apologize for the inconvenience. Oh, of course. Both Scarlet and Heidegger couldn't be bothered to read their scripts. That is almost assuredly the reason why their exhibits are not working. Hey, that looks familiar. Impressive, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed learning about our divisions. And the wonderful ideas and solutions that are produced to benefit us all. Here at Shinra, we strive to ensure the safety of all residents around the clock. All residents across, across the clock. Well, uh, they killed... Probably 50,000 people or more. They dropped the plate, so I don't know what they're talking about here. Now, moving along. The next exhibit will teach you all about the miracle of Mako Energy and our reactors. As well as the city of Midgar itself. So, come on! This is Midgar, our home. Recreated in one ten thousandth scale. As you can see here, the eight Mako reactors form a ring around the center of our city and keep Midgar running day and night. The Mako which flows beneath our feet is a truly limitless resource. At Shinra, we have developed technologies to extract it and transform it into the fuel and electricity that powers everything we do. Thanks to the miracle of Mako energy, our lives are richer and better than ever before. Mako keeps our lights on at night and made Midgar into the city that never sleeps. A triumph of technology and testament to man's potential. Nothing but a bunch of lies. Except that Mako has made people's lives better. It's made people blind. Blind to the cold hard truth. Even I used to buy into their bullshit. Remembering that makes me even madder. They didn't bother finishing building the plates out. I don't know if that's the outer wall or the inner wall, I don't know. I don't remember Shinra, uh, 
don't remember it being you that can big. Call yourself a proud Shinra scholar. Now, moving along. Next, you'll learn about our progress in advanced science and technology. Please proceed to the 61st floor, the Visual Entertainment Hall. Welcome to the Visual Entertainment Hall, where we showcase Shinra's cutting-edge technology. Through an immersive visual and audio experience, please relax and enjoy the show. I don't want to enjoy the show! No, I'm cutting off Cloud's head. This place is empty. Uh, what the uh, hell? Uh, 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 Whoa. I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be music here. In the distant past, our planet was home to a people we call the Ancients. Many millennia before we discovered Mako, these precursors were already pioneering its use. Somehow they learned of the great reservoir of energy pulsing beneath their feet. And once they had, the ancients developed the means to harness this bountiful energy and bend it to their will. The fruits of their labors have survived to this very day in the form of certain kinds of materia. Their scripture, too, has endured. We who are born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto Mamet. her promised land, shall we one day return. By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. Alas, the ancients themselves are long gone. 2,000 years ago, a meteor brought an end to their civilization. But before their fiery end, did the ancients find their promised land? Even now, we have only to wonder. Times have changed, and the Shinra Electric Power Company is committed to changing and evolving with them. Like the ancients, we have harnessed the power of Mako. Are they out there watching us, waiting for us to join them in some blessed corner of the world? A green and verdant land where boundless Mako energy will provide for our every need. Shinra is working for you to fulfill the hope of the ancients and lead us to that promised land. We shall not rest until our dream is realized. Huh? That it? That looks like a meteor. Sephiroth. Oh dear. Oh dear. A man of my refined taste running out of butter. <laughs> Shorn of its proper accompaniment, this tea might as well be boiled pond water. <laughs> <gasps> No, it, it couldn't pass. 
possibly have been? Crazy ass thing made me want to puke. And not just because of the presentation, but the content too. Ought to come with a warning. That ain't for kids. That wasn't just a movie. That huge meteor, what was that about? Like I said, nothing you should show a kid. So, since I was watching episode, you cannot have chocolate. This is chocolate. You cannot have. You cannot have chocolate. I am not giving you. I am not giving you the chocolate. I am not giving you. No, it does not matter how much you kiss mom. We're not. This is for mom. You cannot eat chocolate. Do you, would you like poison? I'd sooner feed you cyanide. Actually, that's not true. Cyanide is 100% deadly. Her eating a bag of chocolate chips would probably just upset her tummy really bad. Uh, but so I was watching my my first episode of the series. And uh, I was reminded of the height difference between Cloud and Sephiroth. You call yourself a proud Shinra expert. Your mission is to go out and tell everyone about the wonders of Shinra. Next, you'll be visiting the repository for Shinra's expertise and know-how. Please make your way to the 62nd floor, the corporate archive. What the? Greetings and welcome, Avalanche, I presume. My name is Hart, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Huh? I've come to escort you to Mayor Domino, per his request. The mayor of Midgar? The empty suit that's just a mouthpiece for Shinra? Yes. The mayor of our dear Midgar. The most magnificent city ever built, that Mayor Domino. The Visual Entertainment Hall has been experiencing technical difficulties of late, and he suspected that these difficulties might impede your progress. So what does the mayor want with us? I'm afraid you'll have to ask him that yourself. <sighs> Guess we're supposed to follow. But is really only interested because I'm eating it. So what? You telling me the mayor's some kind of crazy bookworm? Through here. If this is a trap, you're a dead man, you hear? Jiminy Crickets, Barrett! The mayor is waiting. The mayor is waiting. This can't be right. Ah, wonderful. You finally made it. 
I am the mayor of the great metropolis of Mako. Domino, at your service. <laughs> I must say you three haven't exactly been discreet. Huh? I wonder who's been cleaning up all your messes. What the hell's going on? Come on, think about it. You've been caught by security several times, walked in front of every other camera, and scared an accountant half to death. Do you hear the alarm? No? You're welcome. <sighs> hmm. hmm. I can only assume your cell wasn't looped in. I am Avalanche's man on the inside. Say what? Huh. Is it really that surprising to you? You've seen where they put me. The mayor of the greatest city in the whole wide world, tucked away in a secret broom closet in the damned archives. The nerve. Those stupid Shinra pricks thought I'd just shut up and accept their treatment. But they were wrong. Dead wrong. Huh. Well, this ought to make things easier. We need to break into Professor Hojo's lab. What? Why? You mean you're not here to give President Shinra his comeuppance? We're here to save a friend who was taken. But the President's gonna get his, too, if I have anything to say about it. Mm. <sighs> well, I don't particularly care what you end up doing. So long as it hurts Shinra. Great. So, I can get you as far as the 64th floor. Hold up. You're telling me that that's the best you can do? That is indeed the best that I can do. But you're the mayor. But you're the mayor? Does this look like the office of a mayor? I'm a glorified librarian, nothing more. They don't even invite me to their meetings. Sorting records and reports, that's all I do. My hands and fingers have more paper cuts than skin. No <laughs> one knows my pain, my daily torment. They've made me a pathetic shell of a man. Uh, uh, okay, they did you wrong like us, but we'll make it right. So just calm down. Deep breaths, man. Deep breaths. Hmm. Let me see that key card of yours. Here you are. You can now use it to access the recreational facility on the 63rd floor. And then what are we supposed to do? You look for a fellow Avalanche collaborator. Identify yourselves and he'll give you a key card to the 64th. The countersign is... The mayor is the best! Midgar's <laughs> mayor is nothing less! Uh. Everyone says he's cooler than the rest! Uh. Just say mayor to the guy, and if he goes the best with gusto, then you found your man. You got it? If you think you found the collaborator, say mayor, and see if he says the best. You got it now? But first, we got to explore the ho the whole library. If you require additional assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. So can you tell us anything about this collaborator? Certainly I could do just that, but a man in my position must conduct his affairs with discretion. Which is to say that that which has been requested cannot be freely given, if you take my meaning. You want money! Disclosing confidential information entails considerable risk. Due compensation is to be expected. In this particular instance, that would amount to 10,000 gil. Rip us off more, why don't you? That is such a tiny amount of money compared to how much I have. It's not really necessary, but I'm going to do it because it makes my life easier. The 64th floor is reserved for our executives. The individual you seek is fastidious and well-dressed. This individual likes to visit the 63rd floor to 
decompress from the stress of the job. That really all you got for us? Oh, are you dissatisfied with your purchase? How unfortunate. Perhaps this will help preserve our relationship. Huh? An expression of my gratitude and appreciation. Huh, that's better. There's another way to get the EKG cannon, if I remember right. I already uh, upgraded everything else. The first thing I'm going to do, just because uh, not everything is going to be able to be purchased. And I want to make sure that I get the materia slots. through and get things like that one and that one. I guess we'll we'll take this hole first spare oh wait I'm not gonna take that magic and physical defense for hit rate with and weapon critical rate Physical damage. It's overcharged. Critical damage. Power. I've got 52 points. And not enough points for anything. So, the only thing I'm missing is the magic attack power. Two whole points. Oh, even with all of that, I'm going to lose a bunch of stuff. I know I can just reslot everything. I don't like the reslotting, it makes me crazy. Should have that. I think he had magnify, so let's find magnify. Oh, Tifa had magnify. Okay. Never mind. What's any of the rest of that? Uh, cloud has poison out. Gentle. Might end up with that other elemental on him also. We'll see. Oh, I finally got two of the chakras max. That one's working.
I guess Barrett gets to level up two of those. I can't wait to be done leveling up all this materia. Actually, I'm... I apologize. I haven't done this in a while. Let's make sure... Don't have anything else that can be removed. All right. We've got a guy. The mayor is working with Avalanche. Would have been nice to know. Idiots at HQ should have kept us in the loop. You guys went rogue. Hey, look at we got one third of the money we gave him back. Well, almost a third of the money. Mayor. Very bad. Alright, so now we gotta walk around here. Mako exploded. Exit. That's the door we came through. Barrett is a stumpy M ever. Back to where we started. Mayor, very bad. I like how that sounds like a question. Mayor, very bad. Oh, that's the down escalator. Okay. Can't go up the down. So, about this precious promised land of yours. Come now, Aerith. You misunderstand my intentions. I wish only to satisfy their material greed so I can be left to pursue my great work. Our great work, my dear. Hmm. You're the spitting image of her now. I regret it to this day. If she had only trusted me instead of trying to run, it could have played out quite differently. What a terrible tragedy to lose the last of the pure-blooded ancients. Though not completely, would you like to see your mother? Albeit, through the lens of one of my microscopes. Did you really think we'd leave such a precious specimen to rot in the gutter? We collected and cataloged every last bit of her. Hair, skin, organs, every fragment of every bone. As breathtaking in death as in life. As you, my dear, Ifalna was elegance. Right down to her cellular structure. <laughs> and there it is. That same elegance. Oh, yes. Time for yet another meeting. Sit tight. I won't be long.
I'm pretty sure Hojo is the worst. Floor, where loyal Shinra employees relax and recharge. It's pretty late, but I bet people are still here dealing with the aftermath of Sector 7. It's their own damn fault. Stay focused. We need to find this guy. Yeah, yeah. Guess I better get working on my conversation skills. You think we have ways to dig him out safely? We're told fires raged all night. I have some good friends in Sector 7 Undercity. Most roads are choked with debris, and travel throughout the Undercity remains extremely difficult and dangerous. They look busy. The plate did just fall. What kind of particulars in the air? Seeing them like this somehow makes me feel a little bit better. The support is getting overwhelmed by calls. We'll have to resort to AI operators. Let's find our contact. Not seeing any security around. One less thing to worry about. Yeah, you keep thinking that, Barrett. That door doesn't open. That one doesn't open. Question. Where are you, Mr. Collaborator? I think we just need to start talking to people who look the part. Remember, say mayor. If they say the best, then we have a winner. <sighs> Hello there. So. What'll it be for you today? The mayor. Mayo? Sorry, we don't have any here. But I remembered there being a shop. Well, I'll, I'll just talk to everybody. Please, just leave me alone. The mayor. Oh, uh... Eat the... Open... Chairs! Stupid... What? Hmm? Are you military? Cool. Yes. Cool. I guess things have been keeping you pretty busy around here. Have you found the guys who did this yet? The mayor. Mayor. Huh? Uh, what about the mayor? Never mind. No, I'm gonna be here a while longer. The mayor. Hey, shush. I'm on the phone. You better catch him soon. I don't get to talk to you. Are you it guys? Today we welcome a special guest, Shinra's Director of Public Security, who has an important message to share with us. <clears throat> Everyone here at Shinra is deeply saddened and outraged by this unconscionable act of terrorism, but at the same time we will not be cowed by threats or violence. To the people of Midgar, I make this vow. We will find the villains responsible and bring them to justice. Are you listening, Avalanche? You cowardly dogs! Run all you like. Shinra is coming. Do you think the other plates are in danger? Is it true that Wu Tai is gonna attack us again? We Wu Tai's got nothing to do with this. The rest you are gone. Hmm. The hell's that? Combat sim. You can use it to train for battle in a virtual space. Does training in that thing really make you better? Does anyone know their next target? Does anyone well, Shinra's know next target is whoever they deem they don't like. I wanna believe there's something yes, Shinra is coming! Oh, it's just a jukebox. It's like, do I have the song? you like do, do you have any no you do not have any weapons at all 
for so much less tense and everything. My three whatever cloud and barret. It's not that I don't have the money. I have plenty of money. You're military, right? Can you give me any tips for doing better in the sim? The mayor. Mayor? I need to be tough like a horse? You work here? I don't recognize you. Can I help you with something? The mayor. Is the best. I was told to expect you. you need access to upper floors, right? That's right. Before I trust you with this key card, I need to see what you can actually do. Say what? Do you know what would happen if you got caught? We're putting our lives on the line here. Prove you're worth it. We have a state-of-the-art combat simulator. It can provide a real challenge, let me tell you. If you beat the sim, then the key card is all yours. And then later you can see Chadley out here. Welcome to the holodeck. Oh no, okay. Okay, well, uh, you did have to just pick the time right after I start the actual combat sim. Uh, so it'll, it'll take a second here, but I promise we will get to all three of those and any others you add after this. I just realized I do not have um, anything other than bio. I got your number. Oh, I didn't even see the next break part. <laughs> I mean, I knew that that would be the case, that it would be all good to, to wait until break. But, like, I'm like, oh, crap. Louie. Nobody wants to suck on your... Oh, I just remembered that Barret has a uh, new ability. Be Barrett, because that way I can actually use the ability. We got to use it a couple of times. That it? Wait, you wanted more cloud? Cloud, you're a dweeb. Hey, sweetheart. You moved to your bed again. She keeps moving the bed all over the floor. So come over here and give Mama a hug. Can I have, can I have a hug? Yeah. Get your puppy! Oop. 
I bumped the mic. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, yeah. Look up, Mom. Look up, Mom. Are you a puppy? What are you, your puppy? Oh. Yeah? Oh. Are you a good girl? Oh, oh. oh good girl. Have a kiss. You're still going to break your mom's nose. Let's move your bed back. That's uh, Coda's water buffalo horn, horn that she has had for, I don't know, probably five years now. Is it going to turn up in? Oh, I got it. Sorry, right, got it. Fluffy. I got it. I got that, Fluffy. Hydrate. Yes, it's a good thing I actually have water in my water container. Uh, two weeks, I think, is uh, when two weeks ago is when my sister did my hair. No. It'll be three weeks on Saturday. <laughs> hmm. I'm I'm this close to thinking I might actually have caught COVID from my sister. She does have COVID. When uh she tested positive on Monday, and we saw each other on Saturday. Oh. I'm just starting to get kind of a sore throat. And... I'm a little warm. My temperature's kind of been the last like 24 hours what 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 did he get you <laughs> great now i've got puppy puppy slobber all up on my arm Would test again in a uh, in a few days. Or not in a few days, either tomorrow or Saturday. All right, I've seen enough. I'm a man of my word. Here, this key card will grant you access to the 64th floor. You can use the elevator to get there. Once you're up there, just what is it you plan on doing? We came to get one of our friends. She's being held in a research lab somewhere. A lab. Then she must be with Professor Hojo. It won't be easy to get to her. Access to R&D is limited to authorized personnel only. We'll find a way in. Know where we can oh, look, find it's Hojo? Chadley. A board meeting is scheduled to start soon. It's being held in the main conference room. President Shinra, Professor Hojo, and the other directors will be in attendance. Think they like surprises? We can even take the president as a hostage. Think of the leverage. Try it, and security will be on your asses in seconds. We need to find out what they're planning. So you want to spy on their meeting? Hmm. I have an idea. Head to the men's restroom. You can climb into the air ducts there. They go all the way to the conference room. Thanks for the tip. Not sure how I feel about it being in the men's room. I think it was in the men's room in the first game, but still. Hi, Chadley! Cloud, I've been waiting for you. You haven't forgotten me, have you? I'm an intern in the R&D division here. I took the liberty of hacking into the executive's private network to monitor your progress through the building. I will support you in any way that I can. I sense a surge in trust. 
<laughs> we should keep this brief to avoid suspicion. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Yeah, that'll take a while. I suck at the stagger stuff. Alright. Well... Uh-oh. Cloud? Huh? You're Cloud, right? Oh. Holy shit! It's cool, bro. We went through training together. Damn. So you're still alive and kicking, huh? Some of the guys heard you got smoked. But I told them it was all bullshit. Hey, sit tight, man. I'm gonna go get Kunsel. I'll be right back. Old buddy. You okay? Yeah. But you were just... I'm good. Let's keep moving. I think the first reference to Kunsel is in... Crisis Core. It's been such a long time. All right, up to the 64th floor we go. I trust the narrative is intact. Rock solid. The people have embraced the Wu-Tai Avalanche conspiracy wholeheartedly. I've almost come to believe it myself. Wu-Tai's response? So far, nothing. And if those cowards do react, all the better for us and our story. Very well. Then we shall stay the course. If I may, sir, there was one other matter. Oh? A message from our man Palmer. Yeah, who got scared shitless by a ghost. Damn it. Barrett. Yeah, yeah, I know. We came here to save Aaron. That's our first priority. That's right. We only get one chance. Hojo should be at that board meeting, so that'll buy us some time. We need to plan this just right. Where the F is the door? I'm not done going up. They're just getting you into the board where room. Hojo is? Where he should be. What's the plan? Um, little bit of recon. Need to find a way to infiltrate that room. You hear the words coming out of your mouth. We just gotta find that bathroom so we can get into the air duct. Ask anyone here. They can point us in the right direction. No thanks. We can find it on our own. Yeah. After we scour the floor for, you know... Boxes and chests and hidden objects. Did you see Sector 7? I can't bring myself to look. I went to the Skyview Hall. It's worse than I imagined. So they're discussing a reconstruction plan in the meeting? Yeah. Director Tuesday was preparing a proposal. Hard to sleep when you don't know. I need something so stiff it knocks me out. I really wish they didn't repeat so easily. Uh, sir, are you sure you should be here right now? There is a meeting going on, you know. Yeah. So what? You were supposed to deal with the smell coming from the bathroom. It's leaking into the main conference room, remember? You're worried about a little smell. Who cares about that? You're gonna get in trouble. That's Bryce Pembroke. I say that like you guys would know who that is. Uh, Bryce Pembroke is a anime voice actor for, uh, I think a couple of studios, but in particular, I think Funimation. Um, he's the voice of Rin Okumura on Blue Exorcist, which is the 
place I primarily know him from. All right, I'll wait out here. He'll do no such thing. Huh? You can't hang out here. Tifa, it'd be better if you waited inside. Maybe, but this is... Oh, never mind. You're right. Final Fantasy, breaking all the rules oh, since 1997. No one's in here. Love to show them what the ones down below look like. Come on, let's just find that duct. That's not these two. There it is. Gotcha. Look, I'm on guard duty. Right. So, can I go with you? Don't want to be here any longer than I have to. <laughs> yeah, sure. Just follow behind. Now, bear in mind, I worked retail, and I've, I've had to clean plenty of men's rooms. So, let me just say, that is the cleanest goddamned men's room I've ever seen in my life for it to be the source of a bad smell. Bless it. Are you not gonna let me turn the the wrong way? That's not nice. I wanted to turn the wrong way. I'm sure they're safe. But we live right by sector seven, and I keep calling and calling, but I still can't get through. I heard that all the phone lines are down. It doesn't mean anything. You sure? Pretty sure. You're an idiot. Sector 7 is destroyedo. It's destroyed. It's not there. More or less everyone is dead. There are better odds that your family member who lived in Sector 7 is dead than that they're alive. Depending on the board's decision, we may start two projects simultaneously. Rebuilding the plate and the city. Members of the Urban Planning Division will likely take point on both. Director Tuesti has ordered teams to come up with three, five, and ten-year plans. Each team needs to come up with a detailed proposal and schedule. We're going to have to put a lot of man-hours into this, so we'll need to start ASAP. Does anyone have any questions at all? <sighs> if not, then we'll wait for the Director to return. I actually like, I, I've already said this a few times, but I like director Reeve Twesty. Good. I'm, I'm, it's gonna turn out that I just turned the correct way and then I'm gonna be sad this it God, I hope right. one of the, one of the directions there's a materia that I really need any more materia to uh, level up or anything. Yeah, see? 
This is either luck up, MP up, or HP up. HP up! Man, it couldn't be a luck up? Alright, Cloud, you can crawl faster. Come on. Faster. Oh, if anybody here is looking for an interesting podcast, I do not have a podcast. Uh, but if anybody's looking for an interesting nonfiction podcast, um, the Illuminati on, on YouTube, she's got a really you, interesting it. podcast. With my own eyes, sauntering down the corridor. We don't have time for this nonsense. Ah, he was as close to me as you are now. The shock of it made me spill my tea. Enough already. If there are intruders in the building, my men will deal with them. But, Mr. President, sir, I swear to you... Reeve. Sir, I have the damage assessment for Sector 7, and I'm afraid the figures are catastrophic. Spare us the doom and gloom. Uh, was there anything else? Uh, well, sir, I've also drafted a that reconstruction plan needed. for... Huh? Not with the Ancient in our custody once more. Uh, with respect, sir, Two I don't see words, how... Two words, Reeve. <sighs> Neo Midgar. <sighs> in their promised land... We will build a new Mako-powered metropolis. Mr. President, we still don't know for sure that the Promised Land even... <sighs> Professor Hojo. The test results were within expectations. The specimen is somewhat lacking compared to her pure-blood mother, but for our purposes, she should more than suffice. So she can lead us to the Promised Land? Well, Mr. President, that remains to be seen. I would like your permission to secure her cooperation through more forceful means. Forceful, yet gentle. She is a precious resource that must be handled with care. Personally, I've never had a problem with torture. My armory is at your disposal, should you require anything. I had something more psychological in mind. Better to scar the psyche than mar the flesh. <laughs> Proceed as you see fit. However, you will not make the same mistake twice. Is that clear? If I may, Mr. President, I have an idea how we might mitigate the risks. Simply put, we could have the Ancient reproduce. In the absence of a second specimen, we would need to identify an alternative mate. I would start with candidates from Soldier. These would, of course, include S and G types. Quite frankly, there's no telling what kind of properties a crossbred specimen might possess. So... What say you all? <sighs> hmm. I hate Hojo. If there is nothing else... Mr. President! Meeting adjourned. Uh, <laughs> please, sir! Something stinks. Anything? The man in the lab coat. Head of R&D. We follow him. Okay. And then we kill the son of a bitch. I would like Not to, Not until yes. he's led us to Aerith. That's the plan. 
Oh, you must die! Walking the halls of this very building, who would have believed it? I wonder... Hmm... Were I to arrange a face-to-face... -face? <laughs> How I should like to meet their offspring. Ah, uh, but that can wait. First, we must have answers. A simple psychoactive agent should suffice. Nothing likely to cause any long-term damage. <laughs> Let's go. Right. <clears throat> Ojo needs to get trained on frickin' tailgating. And things to watch out for with tailgaters. I have 91 Phoenix now. Wait, where'd you bird? I mean, really, she should have more. Defense than not having defense. This is about halfway there. Everything on Aerith is already leveled. I have to worry about checking her. And 
Oh no, I'm about to kick myself, aren't I? What's in the box? Two vials of something I'll never use. <laughs> so first, hmm, or perhaps instead, Are you using your bed like a pillow? I was using her bed as a pillow. Is you blinking at your mama? Yeah. What's your mama doing? Mama had to make you work for that one, huh? Mama gets him ears. Yeah. Why oh, did I stop? Stopped it. You go lay on your bed. Oh. What has got the sniffles? He's got the sniffles. I too. All right. This one. This is definitely the one. Hmm. Remedies. Yes, yes. Why didn't I think of that earlier? Because you're Hojo? Wait, wait. You mustn't overthink it. <laughs> Don't move. Hmm. I ain't bluffing. What is this? A dozen bullets in your head, unless you open that door right now. You must be the ones who've been stirring up trouble lately. The eco-terrorists? <clears throat> if so, I can't imagine what business you have with me. The president's upstairs. Go on, shoo! Shut up. Keep walking. <clears throat> None of y'all better move a muscle. Do stop pushing. Unlike you, I am less accustomed to physical violence. You'll Good, then we'll push you more. What is it that you want? Our friend. She's in your lab. Really? Tell us where Aerith is. Oh, so she's your friend. Well, well, well. In that case, yes, that might do the trick. 
Mind speaking up some? It's nothing. Just imagining how she might react if I were to present to her your fresh corpses. I promise <laughs> you will regret this. No, no, I will regret nothing. explains the uh remedies Let's do it right Oh it has no weakness Just like subs. should probably heal Cloud. Since his player is a dumbass. Let's dub bueno. Why I was just saying we shouldn't worry about you guys. Also, some. Oh, no. Fine. Hey, Cloud, do you want to heal yourself, please? Want some, more? Want some rye? Of course you do. No. Oh, 
Loverly. Oh, I got self-destruct. Um... Hope you're ready. This was probably a bad one to decide to go with. Right about now, I I really wish that uh, that I'd brought one of the uh, the other summons with me. We still aren't going to manage to get anybody's limit breaks off. It's over. I'm too far away. That was a waste. Who's a pretty kitty? Who's a pretty lion kitty? I guess lions are kitties. Um, I'm supposed to give Coda another TR-18. Oh man, the key. Oh. I want to go back. Back to reality. Time she wandered off. Oh, she wandered back. little egghead, ain't you? The results provided by my predictive models indicate that this force should be more than capable of handling you. Y'all about to learn predictable. We're taking Aerith back. Oh, take her back, you say? Correct me if I am wrong, but did the girl not come here of her own free will? Or do you mean to tell me that she is your personal property? She only came here to save That's right, I own Aerith. She's mine. I'm afraid you misunderstand. <laughs> but I really can't be bothered to explain. This facility is home 
into extraordinary specimens that will change the world as we know it. Do try to be considerate. No escape? Who do you think you are? The demon from the first season of frickin' Supernatural? Oh, survivors! That was not the uh, skill I had intended to use. It's the skill that I selected, but it was not the one that I had actually intended to use. Take the lead. Yeah. No. Looks like your models got it wrong. Yep. Yes. An unknown variable, perhaps. Well, no matter. Reinforcements will soon arrive. But will they get here in time to save you from me? My, are you a soldier? Yeah. My boy, you weren't a soldier. Don't mess with Cloud's head, Hojo. What? The whispers oh, will not allow it. Phenomenon. What's happening? Where are you taking me? What are those things up to this time? Cloud! <sighs> Barrett. Got it. Stand back. <laughs> You came for me. Yep. You good? I'm great. <sighs> uh oh, new and improved enemies. Thanks for saving Marlene. I owe you one. Save it for later. Oh, I should have. Allow me. Keep hitting the guy. wrong button. Got your number. Abilities. Jehoshaphat! Lay off! Whatever. Gotta fight win. I wasn't sure if they were different. 
ones in this form or not, so I wanted to back. No biggie. Let's get out of here. <laughs> the hell was that thing? We need to go. <laughs> it was Eris. a big pretty kitty. What the? Come on. Gotta search. Just to double check. I don't remember where absolutely everything is hiding. So I always have to check. Did they already take the elevator? Did I go to the wrong elevator? What's going on? Who did what with who for how many cookies? Do not answer that. Where did everybody go? I'm an idiot. child's a friend. So what the hell is it? A fascinating question. Oh, <laughs> did it just talk? You asked what it is. Hmm. I am that which you see before you. Nothing more. I'd appreciate it if we simply left it at that. Agreed? <sighs> <sighs> Thirteen? Huh? Red Thirteen. The designation given to me by Hojo. Then... you must have another name. What is it? He <sighs> got away. So, we're gonna go get the son of a bitch. Oh, that's interesting. I'm pushing backwards. Now I'm pushing forwards. Oh, I have come for you. Oh. Oh, mother. Oh. 
Together we will reclaim our world. Mother, they have come again. More worried about Farnham if he's still here answering that question. You know, Reno, I think you might be due for some R&R. &R. Nah, I'm good. What are we going to do about Sector 7? We are going to do nothing been thinking was all that necessary had we refused someone else would have completed the task we have spared that someone the burden of a guilty conscience perhaps that will ease yours <sighs> yeah nope let's try another tack then they were a sacrifice to balance the scales say what after everything we'd taken from the planet, we were due to give something back. Do you actually believe that? Does it matter? <clears throat> yes. Understood. The VP needs us. Cloud. Oh, thank goodness. You're awake. You okay? Yeah. Where are we? Where I lived when I was still a child. When my sister and I were kids, she used to ask that question, who did what with who for how many cookies? And I picked it up as a habit myself. It's a kind of a variation on the uh, the questions that a news article should answer, who, uh, who, what, where, when, why, and sometimes how. Um, and I had asked it so many times at one point in time that a friend of mine decided he was going to make sure that there was an answer for it. It was not Farnham. Farnham knows the answer. And I hope to the gods that if I ever ask that on stream that he does not answer. Because it's embarrassing. Also, not an SFW. That, that, that's why the sudden wide eyes and, and saying don't answer that. If you have an answer that is personal to you for who did who did what with who for how many cookies, feel free to answer that question. Talk to you. Look up to me like I can talk to you. My mom and I stayed here years ago when I was just a little girl. The room looks exactly the same. Also, please note, when Aerith ran into Red, she said, this child. 
bear that in mind going forward. We probably won't hear it, hear anything about it for a long time, i.e. sometime in, like, part two, which comes out next year. So, but keep that in mind. Every morning, they'd come and take my mom away. I remember crying here alone. Aerith, before we break out of here, talk to us. There's so much we don't know. I'm a descendant of the ancients. That's pretty much it, really. Oh, but just so you know, that's not their actual name. They called themselves the Cetra. We who were born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto her promised land shall we one day return. By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. You know it. Yeah, well, honestly, I thought that part was just a fairy tale. Mm. Shinra thinks it's true. They've been searching for the promised land for a long time. And they must think you can lead them to it. Can you? <sighs> Nope. Someday, maybe, I'll find it in me. But now, not even if I wanted to. Even if you could, that land belongs to the... I mean... To you and your people. Shinra's after it, because they believe it's rich in Mako. Mako, they've got no right to claim. But they'll try to take it anyway, won't they? <clears throat> Greedy bastards will never stop. Okay, new plan. Y'all take Aerith and get the hell out of here. Me, I'm gonna go bust some Shinra heads. Barrett, wait. You can't do that. Huh? <sighs> <sighs> oh, great. These assholes again. Probably some Shinra science experiment. Whispers. Perhaps best described as arbiters of fate. They are drawn to those who attempt to alter destiny's course and ensure they do not. Like capital D? Destiny? The flow of the great river that is the planet, from inception to oblivion. And you're saying that that flow is somehow... fixed? Yes. For it is the will of the planet itself. So if we're destined for a bleak future, these whispers will try to keep us on that course? Now wait just a damn minute. How in the hell can you possibly know any of that? Spouting that cryptic stuff, which could all be bullshit. I mean, ain't you a Shinra lab rat or dog? I'm not a rat dog. When Aerith reached out to me, I found this knowledge of the Whispers. Listen to me. Please. Aerith. The Shinra Electric Power Company isn't the real enemy. It started with them, sure. But I promise you, there's a much bigger threat. I just want to do everything in my power to help all of you and the planet. Aerith, what are you not telling us? I'm lost in a maze and every step is taking me further from the path. Every time the whispers touch me, I lose something, a part of myself. Follow them, the yellow flowers. Uh. 
It's okay. We'll find a way out together. <sighs> okay. Oh. <sighs> Weird. Almost there. Well, you wanted an answer. It's a, it's a video I've already watched a few times, so... Like that. One of my friend's kitties. Well, he only has the one kitty. But he, he he wanted to share this. This is a co-worker. But nobody that, that we've talked about so far. Well, I mean, I've talked about him a few times. But look at this kitty! I should have brought that up on the big screen. If you guys want, I'll bring it up later. Aha! There you are! Rick, what are you doing, man? Edge. Hey guys, long time no see! Wedge? You're here? You... you shouldn't be up and moving. I'm feeling much better thanks to Elmira's cooking. Ah, but that's not what I wanted to talk to you about. Listen, any moment now... Uh, what was that? An explosion? Anomalous shivers and temperature levels... HQ's running temperature. the show this time. They're raising hell to try and flush Anomalous out the president. This uh, <clears throat> complicates matters. Anomalous that explosion just now put the whole building on high alert. <laughs> so now we're trapped in here? Engaging lockdown protocol. No need to panic, little lady. See? You can still move freely within Hojo's laboratory. Find a way to the roof. An avalanche chopper will come to extract you. HQ's bailing us out? I doubt it. Not after all the shit we've pulled. I asked them really nicely. Like super duper nicely. Thanks, Wedge. Just get to the roof, okay? Uh, oh? Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh, I didn't ask him to do any of that. Hmm. Yeah, well, I'm glad he did. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna still chew him out for it later. Cloud is a terrible loner merc type. He doesn't have it in him. Primary concern is materia slots. Also, this is going to be where we leave off, in part because I don't want to get into the middle of everything. And then have to cut us off in the middle of everything. So this is basically the end of a bunch of stuff, and I would rather just move from there. Also, because I have to use the bathroom.
Also that. Lord knows if I move on to the next part of the game, I will not want to stop playing. Because that is exactly the type of person I am. Oh god, no, I got- No, we gotta go on to this next part. Oh, and this next part. No, wait, there's another part! Oh, really? Ha ha ha! Oh my god... I can only pick three more. Um, Tempest boost, yes. Sure. Attack. All right. Oh. In all honesty, she should be the one with, uh, Agnes. Oops. What else should we get? Give her a revive. Fire. Ice. Lightning. And. All right. Also, everyone is level 50. Even Aerith. There's a lot of level 50s. Oh, hey, look. That's going to hide itself. That was a really pretty background. I mean, yes, but I don't feel like that needs to be answered. Look at my background! I love it. Of course, it'll be different in, you know, probably seven minutes. All right, guys, I'm going to call it a night. I will see you guys in the next stream. Thank you very much for being here and being a part of my pack. I appreciate it. Sleep tight. Don't let the fate bite. And we'll see you in the next stream. Good night. I should have realized that my phone was not on. And I have to say that again. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of the pack. Sleep tight. Don't let the fate bite, and we'll see you in the next stream. Good night.